Now finished cleaning all the parts of the motor. I took the spring out of the barrel, cleaned it in the barrel, and wound the spring back in. I did an initial application of oil to all the coils, which is what I used. I let the oil soak into the coils overnight. And now before I put the um, uh, main arbor back through with the cover on, it's time to apply grease to the uh, coils of the main spring. And the grease that I like to use is, this is not the original container, Double A Lubra Plate. Looks like this. And what I'll do is I'll use a, uh, a putty knife. You know, get some grease on the knife. You know, like packing a wheel bearing, get the grease forced in between the coils. I'm leaving the center coil ungreased there. That's where the arbor is going to go in. And just keep forcing the grease in. So that it goes all the way through the full width of the spring. And it's important just to do this not to overfill it. But like I said, I want the uh, keep packing it in there till I know that it come it's going all the way through the full height of the spring that it's not just on one edge. And then when I wind and unwind it, the grease will redistribute itself around the rest of the spring. But this part is done first. before the uh, barrel cap can be put on. And uh, some people like to use the traditional uh, Vaseline and graphite. I prefer this because it's cleaner. Doesn't make as much of a mess. And it really works really well. So, if you can see that or not, see that it's going into the coils. Here's the gear cluster assembly with the governor already installed. I've oiled all the uh, gear teeth. It really doesn't take much energy to make it start running very smooth. The bed plate, all reassembled. The governor yoke and regulating device. So, I'm going to do this and I will um, cut the video off and return after I have got the spring greased and have it installed in the um, motor frame and give the motor a test run.